guys Fessa here let's start live scalp trading let's make it happen all right we're looking at our ticker MRO we are looking at a really good opportunity to short this thing right now so let's see let's make this happen how's it looking on the five minute thing we can go we can make a short happen we will get the short I'll do it from my phone we'll do the short alrighty we are in at 1108 the short is went in at 1108 we're making this happen as you can clearly see it is in the downtrend and it's below the 9 VWAP 20 headed towards the 200 our exit will be 11 bucks because the 200 is pretty strong support and also RSI is on the downtrend MACD sellers in control even though the low of today is 11.05 that's where the strong support is right here is where the strong support is and let's just plot the resistance how's the oil futures looking it was coming down now it's going up price of oil barrel how's the spy looking it's coming down as well here we go it broke through Again, easy short usually whenever the tickers hits one two three should have broke through knock knock boom it didn't it tried again tried again failed headed to the downside we're one cent away from our exit on the 200 let's see how this looks in the five minute it has a ways to go go back it got pumped really heavy this morning and now it's just coming down there we go struggling we're up 93 bucks right now took a small short position on this how much did I put in I put in where does it say it 17,000 short position on this ticker looks like it found support at 1101 that should have been the exit actually it's always a penny above the support or a penny under resistance always but seeing how the RSI is looking how the MACD is looking this thing should come down now it's stuck under support sorry under the resistance the previous support of 1105 now it's stuck below so it's stuck between $11 and 1105 How are you looking on the five minute? Our side's headed to the downside. Sellers just got in control. Even though the buyer sell line is above the zero point histogram, it's always good to do proper risk management knowing that the buyer sell lines are above. There you go. That's it right there. We can take our exit. 
because I know it usually does the bounce. And there's the bounce. Let me put a support line here. breaks through the 1105 and holds above it we're going to be in a situation <laughs> even though we have a safe entry of 1107 was it 1107 what was it sorry 1108 we have a safe entry of 1108 so we have some wiggle room now it's consolidating right here the buyers are not letting it happen sellers are like come right down Are we looking on the five? Cool. Volume is moving a little bit. 1.65. Looks like it's starting to the upside. Come on, sellers. I see a lot of sellers. Few buyers. It's too much resistance here. Way too much resistance. That 20 though. 20 EMA, such strong support. Such strong support. Yep, there's our exit. Woo! All right, exited out of there. Let's see what price it went through. It went through at $11. All right, we took our exit on that trade. So that's a wrap right there. How much did we make? That was a good short position. We could still keep going. We could make this a long as well we'll make it happen on both sides that was hundred and nine dollars yeah not bad 1101 it took me out at 1101 so seven cent scalp with only not much a little bit not much I'll show you guys the PL at the end let's keep this trade going let's see where this bad boy wants to go we might go long on this as well we might do a double trade on this Let's see how it plays out. That was a quick short. Shorting is pretty easy. It's guaranteed when it goes below the 9, the VWAP, and the 20. Easy. Easy. Literally. What was it? 11.08 to 11.01. Done. Could we go back in? Yeah, it's on a nice downtrend. We technically can go back in. I would have preferred my entry to be 11 bucks. RSI is going to hit the 30 and do a bounce. Let's see how it looks on the 5. On the five, we have the good support. On the 200, at the, what is it? 1095 mark. See how we can play this out. What do 
Digital Futures is on the uptrend. Yep. Supply is coming down, holding on the 20. There's a lot to fall if it falls, my God. Seven points. Still coming down. It's holding on the 200. On the five minute. Let me turn on the spy. It always does that. Turn this the color I like. Pink. Cool. Pink lines a spy, guys. Just so you know. The spy is bringing everything down with it. I'm going to get ready to go long on this, but I don't like the way the spice is going down. It looks like it found strong support here. It's holding very strong. But you don't go against the spy. It's 1096 is holding very nicely. Okay, get this out of the way. See how it comes down and hold on the next one. Oh, here we go. I think it's going to start its trajectory and the spy is moving up as well. Okay, we'll do a double trade on this. The safest entry. Let me see. would be once it breaks the trend. It wants to go lower. All right, it could go. Let's see how far this thing could fall. Next support is 85. Where's the 20 on this? Oh, the 20 is right. It already broke through the 20. I'll have to look in here. It is on the downtrend. It's consolidating from here for the past two days it's been consolidating broke the trend now it's deciding which way to go cool how are you looking on the daily downtrend consolidating went up consolidating awesome we played it safe and cut our exit at 11.01, we missed out on this opportunity, but it's okay. It's still going down. make a trend line all right there you go once it breaks the trend and it doesn't consolidate goes to the upside we could ride this bad boy 400%
got some volume getting pumped in right here. Okay, broke the trend. Let's see which way it wants to go. Spy is still to the downside. Looks like the spy has found support. All right, let's see how it's going to move. Stuck under the 20, sorry, 200, and the rest of them, but really stuck under 200. How's the oil looking? Oil is on the uptrend. Standing. I think we'll call this a wrap, really. We're done with the short. Seeing it how it wants to play here. Sellers are pushing it down. Keep on still. Oh, there it goes. How's the spy looking? Spy has found support. Moving to the upside. Broke through the 20, sorry, 200. Broke through the 9. Next is the 20. Let's look for a bounce at the 85 mark. Five, it's broken through all the indicators as well as on the 15. Yep, 85 is a very strong layer of support. Very strong layer of support. Let's see what we look for. And we could probably take an entry to the upside around 85. Let's see. maximize our gains I took a seven minute scalp on that short for like a hundred bucks hundred a little bit over a hundred bucks in seven minutes You want to see just pure price action, I'll show you. We'll leave the spy here. Down downtrend. Found support. At the what is it? Eighty eight mark. Ten dollars and eighty eight cents. Now, looks like it's semi consolidating. Let's see where it wants to go from here. You could take the entry, but the risk is greater. That's all it is, really. A greater risk. You want a clear trend to the upside before you take any entry. And I would actually feel more comfortable when it falls to 1085. 
five cents. Let it drop, what, six, five more cents to the 85. Because this is really strong support for the past few days. All right, here we go. Spies on the move. Crystal ball effect, right? Spies moving. MRO is moving too. I took my entry now my exit would be <laughs> I guess 1105 but my stop loss would be 84 all right let's turn everything on And got rejected under the nine strong resistance. There you go. So like I said, the risk is greater when it's below all the indicators. You want a clear trend to the upside. It held nicely on the 88 mark. 89. Yep, held right here. One, two, three, four times. Buyers are not having it right now. Under the nine. Looks like the spies on the move. Woo! Spies on the big moves. All right, looks like it's on the move. Let's take an entry. Consolidating. Now it's breaking to the upside. Buyers in control. RSI looks good. The 20 is strong resistance. Let's wait for another sidestep green candle and see how it plays out from there. Sandwich between the 12, sorry, the 20 and the 9.
All right, we took the entry at 11.93.9, so roughly 10.94. We took the entry at 10.94. see how it plays out a riskier entry because it's stuck between the 9 and the 20 but the trend looks good took an entry of how much did I put in a hundred and three thousand dollars roughly a hundred and three thousand dollars let's see how this plays out it looks like it wants to break through as you can see the buyers are in control the momentum's picking up as you can see the bars see how this goes look at the five it's very strong support at 88 very strong support at 88 mark Looking at this price, by the way, below 1088, 1089, yeah, very strong support at that level. The buyer seller lines are above on the 15, the zero point histogram. RSI looks like it's doing a bounce. Just our trend line. Which is perfectly normal to do, by the way. As long as it hits three candles. One, two, three. You're good. So our exit would be when it breaks this trend. So let's see how this plays out. There's that 200, 1099, okay. Again, our entry is $10.94. That was our entry to the upside, going long. Doing double positions, long and short. MRO being a blue chip is like a slow mover compared to the penny stocks. A lot of you, I'm sure, are used to. It's, it just requires the patience and the setup to come to you. It's broken through the 20. It's broken through everything. Now it just has to break through the 200 and the, and the VWAP right here. This white is VWAP. We're up 292 bucks right now. I think we're over a little over 400 with the short and the long as at this point, but we'll see at the end. I'll pull up the PNL. Using just the indicators, you can see it's looking good. Let's see what happens here. Let's get rid of. Let's get rid of all the indicators, and just see support, resistance, and price action. Right? How's the volume looking? It's good. 3.4 million. It's coming in. As you can see here, if you watched my video on price action and trend line, bouncing, bouncing to the upside. So I'll show you, right? The market moves in three ways. You got the down, consolidation, 
broke the trend to the upside. That's it, broke the trend. Our entry was, again, 1094. So above this, this is good support because it held. And now we're just riding this thing till, till, it keeps, till it breaks the trend practically. The pink line is a SPY. It's good to use the SPY always as a crystal ball. It's always good to have that. So there's, this is just the price action move right here without anything else. Don't let the red candles fear you, or, you know, scare you. Let's see. It broke the trend. Let's see. How's the spy? Look, the spy is bringing it down. Where's the spy? Yep, the spy is coming down, so it's bringing the house with it. Down, up, consolidating. The spy has strong support here at 41079. So it should hold. Let's see. How's the oil looking? Oil is consolidating up. Down, up, down. Oil is fully consolidating at this point. Let's see. Okay. But it's still good. It's very close to the high of its day. Uh, MRO has broken the trend. It's below our point. It's getting close to the strong support at 88. Let's see what happens. We should have got out right here. And we would have been like a penny in the profit. So that's like 100 something bucks. But it's okay because we know that 1088 is extremely strong support. 89, 89, 89. I'm looking right here, by the way, guys. 89, but we know 88 is strong support for a bounce to the upside. Being that I know blue, oh, MRO, I've been trading it since last year. I know its ways very well. I know how it moves. You know, there's nothing to panic about this. Again, compared to a penny stock that has no respect for any clear indicators or price, it does whatever it wants, whenever it wants. So I don't have the fear of trading this because I know how this will move. Looks like it's starting a new downtrend right here. Let's bring in our indicators. How's this thing acting out? Set to the downside.
again it's stuck below all the major indicators now it's holding at 90 you guys notice anything interesting here it held at 88 held at 89 look at the low now it's holding at 90 all four of these candles are holding at 90 and now it's breaking support 88 boom super strong support at 88 which was expected right there our stop loss are we gonna get out at 87 if it breaks below 88 we will get out of this trade we can get back in if anything Again, our original entry is 94. So we're 4 cents below our entry, 3 cents below our entry. As you can see, the SPY is moving to the upside here. It's zigzagging. the high of today 11.23 okay Trend down. Stuck again between the nine and the twenty. Let's expand this. Three is support. Ninety-five is where the two hundred is on the five minute. Definitely doesn't look good on the MACD on the five minute. Doesn't look too bad on the fifteen. How's the oil looking? Still consolidating, but it's still above every indicator, so that means it's in the bull territory. MACD is looking fantastic. All right, I'm liking it. I'm liking the way the oil futures are looking.
Uh, looks good as well. struggle right here as it happens all the time stuck between the 9 and the 20 9 and the 20 let's see if it breaks through It's like it wanted to go up. Didn't have the volume. Didn't have the buyers. Indecisiveness. Indecisiveness. Right here. Doesn't know what it wants, but it should be going up. Supply is going up, so you should be going up as well. You can see it links well with it. But for now, it's not following, which is which happens. The spy doesn't always a hundred percent, but majority of the time it does. There we go. It's above the nine and the twenty. This resistance ninety eight. Let's get rid of this line. Anything extra we don't need, we can get rid of it. the supply for a second. Okay. Let's see. Let's clean this up if we can. Alright, stuck between strong support here. Resistance. Resistance is 
this necessary? Yep. Is this necessary? Strong support held, 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 which will become strong resistance. The next layer of resistance and the top layer. All right. So we got downtrend, consolidation, upside, down trend. Now it's consolidating. See how this plays out. Our exit should have been right here. Should have been when it breaks the trend. But then greed is a mother effer. Or was it even greed? It wasn't even greed. It was knowing the fact that it had strong support at 93 it should have held it didn't and then knowing that it has really strong support at 88 and it did it held now it looks like and boom it broke through knock knock boom yep knock knock boom perfect it did the knock knock boom it hit it three times and then took off all right, we can make a new trend line here. You can just do ba purely based price action. For those of you that only trade like that, I'll give you b best of both worlds. One, two, three. All right, let's make it happen. This should be going all the way to 98. So that should be our exit. And we can get back in at 99 for the upside. Oh, we got rejected. Oh, we found support on our trend line we just made. It hit 94, which is our original entry. So now it's holding. All right, we can get rid of these extra lines. Anything we don't need that's extra, we can get rid of. Broke our trend again, struggling to go to the upside. back our indicators I don't know why <laughs> I still have this name jet blue from back in the days what do you want to call it name charts all right let's go Now, not only does it have strong resistance at 93, it also has now the 20 and the 9 together. And the resistance line of the trend. Trend line becomes the resistance line. 
It needs a lot of volume and force to break through this right here. Which is our entry at 94. <laughs> Isn't it always like that, guys? I know a lot of you tell me that. It's like the game, the market is rigged against you. It's not. It's a psychological thing. It doesn't know you. The market has no inkling to you, has no feelings towards you. It doesn't care about you whatsoever. It's merciless. It does whatever it wants, whenever it wants, however it wants. Acti's looking good. Headed to the upside. RSI, let's let's do a deeper analysis of RSI. Okay. RSI looks like it's on the uptrend. This is the what the line from the one minute. Excuse me. Validating again. You know, it's a wonderful thing to know that the market only does three maneuvers up, down, side, up, down, side. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Which makes it easier to decipher and understand, in my opinion. Is coming down. Yes. Yes, it is. But it's holding strong above the 410.46. How's oil looking? Oil is, whoo! It just broke through its resistance. Mother of God. The high of the day? Yep, it broke through its high of the day. OMG. MRO should be exploding. But the freaking spy is bringing it down. MRO should be going through the roof. Excuse me. really happening just the patience game now at this point broke through 
tool. Let's, let's see if we can adjust it. The price now is two cents below our entry. Holding strong. It does want to go up because the price of oil is shooting up. But the SPY is not letting it go up. That's the only problem, unfortunately. It's holding very steady at 90 all of these candles again if you look right here at the low this entire batch is 90 90 90 90 91 90 but mainly 90. Just broke through that a lot of sellers here our size tumbling. All right, let's get out of this trade. It's broken through the 88, which was our support. Let me get to the phone. Let's close this position. the button oh looks like it's holding oh now it looks like it's stuck under the strong support of 88 See how it plays out here. All right, it went back in. We're in a safe position. Went to 86. Oh, did it really? Yeah, it went to 86. They're taking a lot of people out of their trades right here. We have stop losses. I do a mental stop loss, but we would have been out of the trade at 87. We would have been out, kicked out the trade. Took everyone out. Now it's going back to the upside. Let's see. Spy does not look good at all. Let's see. Yep, it broke through its resistance. Sorry, support. And it's below it now. How's the oil futures looking? It also hit its high, broke through. It's coming down a little bit. It's holding strong.
There goes the fail on this one. <laughs> Look at it. I love it's like a heartbeat. The sellers are not having it. The sellers are not having it. I mean, the buyers are not having it. The sellers are like, nope. Uh, yeah, I'm, I should take the exit now. It's 87, but the, the holding is so strong. My original exit was supposed to be right here, and it broke the trend right here beauty of MRO is that it respects its support resistance line really well. As you can see, it holds on to it. It's trying. This thing wants to go. It's trying. As you can see, it fell, pushed up from what, 86 all the way to 89, three cents. It keep pushing it up and up. It wants to go, because I know the oil futures is looking good, but the SPY it doesn't look good at all. Let me see. Yep, it got further below its low of the day. How are you looking on the 15 SPY? good but this is normal it can't go up forever it should do small pullbacks which is prep this is practical this is future same thing as spy oil is looking freaking fantastic oh man it should be mro should be going bananas to the upside should be look at how nice oil is moving right now on the 15, at, at, on the by the way, every indicator is letting you know this is doing fans. Oil is where it is today. Oil is where it is. That's why it's holding steady, actually. This should be collapsing much, much harder. MRO should be collapsing a lot harder, but it's not because it's balanced out in a way by the oil price of a oil price oil futures price is going up spy is going down so it's balancing it out this is why mro is not collapsing so if the spy just went went back up mro which should shoot right back up so massive profits it should Key word is always should. But does it? Who knows? What the hell? Let's make a trend line. First, let's clean up just a little bit. All right, let's get rid of this. That trend is dead. Let's get rid of the spy. 
we get it, you're going down. All right, cool. Okay. We got a strong downtrend here. Yep, it's keeping it down. It's trying to break through. How's this bar looking? Looks like it wants to go up. There we go. Back at the 88 mark. Even with the SPY pushing it up, let's go. The SPY should be pushing this thing up. So there should be no reason. Yep, SPY is back on the upside. SPY is on the upside. <laughs> and the price of oil fell down a little bit. It's just massively consolidating, consolidating, consolidating. That's what happened. The struggle on MRO is real today, ladies and gentlemen. But it does look like it wants to break through. I can tell you that. Just give me a clear trend to the upside really needs to break over I'm looking right here by the way the high it has to break through right here the 94 which was our entry all right it's getting closer and closer to the 88 mark stuck between here danger zone See what this bad boy wants. Well, on the plus side, it's above. <laughs> it's above the trend line. So it, it's become support instead of below, which would be support, resistance, support, resistance. So that's the plus side right there. All right. Looks like we create a new trend. Let's see. One, two, three.
Oof. Broke through that. Back on to writing the downtrend. Get rid of that. This is our stop mental stop loss, our exit point. We should exit here because we don't know how far it could keep going. But, but, ah, see, it keeps going lower. Now, would I say greed kicks in? But at the same time, knowing the spy is coming to the upside, the oil futures. It's consolidating, but it's still doing good. It's not on the low. Now we're two cents, a penny below our mental stop loss of 87. This is the question, right? How far can this fall? This can fall. It is on the clear downtrend. The next level is 85 right here. All right, let's make a support line here. I had one, I erased, erased it, 85. what happens guys when you don't cut your losses at the point that you should have which for me would have been 95 right here when it broke the original trend right here now we're almost 95 should have been the thing right now we're at 10 cents complete 10 cents loss this is what happens when you don't respect the trend or the rules that you establish, which falls down to discipline. And what you learn is, let's see how it holds on the 85. I know I said I'll get out at 88, sorry, 87. Now it'll be 84, knowing that the 85 is extremely strong support. Spy is definitely not our friend today, I can tell you that. our indicators we have to cut our losses so you can see how everything looks this is done so let's get rid of that Again, it's stuck below all the indicators, as you can tell. Whenever it's stuck below it, it's in bear territory. <clears throat> Excuse me, it comes down. Let's 
holding on the 85 mark. But now it's stuck <laughs> under resistance at 88. The trend line has become its resistance, the 9, the 20. It has a lot of layers to pop through. How's the volume looking? 4.7 million, okay. This thing is just to the clear downside, as you can see. Clear downside. size to the downside as well yeah everything looks bad on this did it break 85 yep it just touched 84 all right we got a plan to get out of this trade that's enough all right Close position, how many shares? 9,473 shares, 102,000. All right, we're gonna close this position. Market. It went back up. Sellers are pushing this down as you can see in the candle. It's getting ready to sell. Just want to see how far it's going to go. The bounce at the 86 mark it should and then come down see how it wants to play out Yep, it hit the upper trend line, which has become its new resistance, as well as the 20s up here as well. What did this go to? Yep, 87. Came down. This thing definitely doesn't want to go up. It's trying. It's trying.
Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> Don't do what I'm doing right now. This is a good learning experience from you guys, for you guys. And now it went into the 83. Right, that's enough blood slaughter what is it called blood slaughter attacks whatever it's called enough enough red we are gonna close this position sell what the hell no not limit sell mother of god Market sell. Oh God! Now it's in the eighty ones. Jesus Christ! I hate doing this on the phone sometimes. I just want you guys to have a full screen. Okay, let's do this. Market sell. Close. Position. Close. Market. Let's wait for this bounce. It should be a bounce that happens right here to the 84 mark. It does this. Keep doing limit cells. What in the name of God? No, I closed the position. All right. All right, guys, that's a close. Let me pause and pull up the PL and let's review on how you should not trade. <laughs> let's pause this. All right, guys, we're back. Here's my screenshot of my PL Mara Oil, the date, the time the two entries and exits. So this was the short I did. It says sell, but this was the short. We did it at 11.08, 11.01. I think I made a little over a hundred bucks on this one. Only 1500 shares. And here's the loss of ours. So let's, let's backtrack, right? Let's backtrack. Okay, let's get rid of some of these lines. Let's get rid of this by, let's get rid of that. The MACD RSI, cool. So originally, let's backtrack. Let's look at our first one, right? To review what we did right and wrong. This is 940. 940. We took a short at 1108, which is where? Right in this fall. And we took our exit at 1101. Let me look at the time, 946. 1101, 946, right here, which was the strong support. And then it collapsed and we took our entry at 1094 at 1005. 94, boom, right here, which was extremely risky because it was below the 12. So I took a risk right here. It went up. The exit should have been 98 right here. It should have been for whatever reason. You guys can rewind it and watch it back. I didn't take that exit. I guess I got greedy. Knowing that the 20, actually, that is my exit. That was supposed to be my perfect exit right here. But got greedy, I guess, for whatever reason. And then it collapsed. I should have taken my exit right here for uh, one cent. It would have been a break even, actually, 94 right here. It would have been a break even. It collapsed. I didn't. I should have had 88, 87, actually, then after that. Right here should have been my exit. I didn't. And then it collapsed more. 
And it's still, it's at 79. What did we get out at? We got it at 79, and it's holding. It went all the way to 76. You can see right here. The low was 76. So this is what you do not do. Follow what your trading journal, your trading plan is. You're going to exit at 98. Take what you say and stick to the stop loss. All right. This is a $1,300 loss. But really, it's a $1,300 lesson for you guys to learn that, you know what? Respect it because you don't know how far this thing can fall. From the looks of it, it's still falling. So this would actually be the best short ever from 1108 if I just stuck, stuck in there the whole time. This actually would have been a wonderful short to stay into. All right, guys, that's the professor. Learn from my mistakes so you don't have to do those mistakes as this stock keeps going down as I'm speaking. And have a great day. Enjoy yourselves, guys.